What a journey we've been on together on this 1969 Beetle chassis from Las Vegas. This chassis has shown all of its skeletons, fought back with great vengeance, only to be conquered by the pros at Aircraft. The entire chassis has been brought back to better than stock and ready to enjoy the next 50 years of its life. What's up, Aircoat Army? It's friend Pete. Back again. This time, we got the chassis back from Powder Coat. Got it done in satin black to match all the other components. Let's show you the details. Let's get into this. If you like the way this uh, came out, make sure you give it a like. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe. Let's get into it. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the Air Cooled YouTube channel and turn on the bell notifications so you never miss a thing. one is kind of mushroomed uh, this is this is oh yeah this one is so it's got a ridge on it so I won't go in the hole there we go so these are <clears throat> one of the ones that we took off of it and uh, I didn't see a physical issue but I can kind of see it now so we'll put our replacement one in Like it's 
should. this side wash it on that side and this is just to give it extra support all about making sure that you don't break any of these ears off Si aún no lo has hecho, asegúrate de estar suscrito al canal de YouTube de Aircool y activa la campana de notificaciones para no perderte nada. What's up guys, we're back to the 69 build, and since we're doing a stock height uh, build on this one, we're going to be putting stock brakes on it, we're not going with the bad series on it. So we found some really nice uh, Gia spindles, had a powder coated for our propylene beam, we got some good uh, TRW rotors and calipers, had them powder coated and painted, and now we're just going to do a quick and easy install on it. We had Joey pack bearings and we lubed the seals. So those burn off. Volkswagen uh, thrust washers, they even got the little stamps on them. And we had them gun glued, so we're good to go. I don't even think the factory ones were gun glued. Or black oxide. So it's a backwards thread.
got all new uh, training mounts and we got these from Wolf Request. I'll put all the part numbers in the description uh, when you're doing a uh, rubber mounted uh, transaxle in your vehicle uh, along with the uh, uh, we're using stainless hardware to fasten it. So we'll have all the wrench sizes and we'll be using NSCs throughout the assembly of this. So there's a notch on the uh, motor mount and that's going to follow the, the notch in the those go. We'll be leaving it loose until once we get it into the chassis. until we get into the chassis to allow it to suck it forward and then suck it down. goes on the nose cone before it goes in to the tunnel. Uh, we use uh, Whisper West. So I installed all this, got it all stainless uh, anesthes on it, tightened up. Uh, we have to use a little modified wrench to get this one. Um, if I am correct, I think the factory ones from Volkswagen were like a 15 millimeter wrench on a 10 millimeter stud. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but those are hard to find as a stainless item. So we just modified a wrench to make that happen. So stainless washers, stainless on a Wolfsburg list mount. Let's finish this up.
I ordered the wrong rubbers on the outers. It's supposed to be round. Get the cap. So for me to move forward, I'm just gonna put the caps on. But I'm gonna pull them back off just so that I can progress forward. And even though they're going to be tight, they won't fall off the ledge that I have down. Again, I'm just putting it here so that I can continue working. Then with all of this being held in, I can pull the cap on, put the rubber on, put it back together, and I can still progress forward. Wenn Sie dies noch nicht getan haben, stellen Sie sicher, dass Sie den YouTube-Kanal von Aircult abonniert haben und aktivieren Sie die Glockenbenachrichtigungen, damit Sie nichts verpassen. So right here, uh, there's like a little notch in the bolt. Um, when we get this all aligned and everything, and we feel good about where we're, our axle is and everything, we'll actually put a little thing here to kind of put it in the way so that the bolt doesn't come back out. And as you see here, these are slotted. So once we fasten it, we can actually, you know, tow in, tow out, we can adjust all of this once we do our final measurements left. Uh, front and back.
seems counterintuitive, but um, we gotta leave it loose so that we can set everything square. They're on. On the next step. There's a little V groove right here. You gotta pack that full of grease so that the seal always seals, it doesn't burn off. Always lube the V. But found that eventually. So I want to kind of showcase something. If you see right there, there's like a little dent in the, this bracket, which is, this is the dent, basically pins this bolt from moving. So you see that there, let's go to this side. Can you find it? So this is the one that was missing. Could Volkswagen have missed it? Where is it at right there? I don't, that doesn't look like it. But could they have missed this? Hmm. Comment down below. What do you think? in dry right now just to kind of get everything set and then we'll just lock tight on here and the nut has stopped moving but uh, we'll get there we'll get the full hole the full hole and I'll bring you back in once we, uh, we get there um, as long as we're using uh, you know 175 psi compressor a half inch impact um, and we get it so you know we're a half a hole or whatever and we just keep hitting it it'll move it'll get there and it's as you see it's still everything's still within spec um but you won't uh, the, the splines will never come loose uh you know by wearing because of improper torque
so uh, we make these brackets and we are adapting a roto hub and four lug to our kit and one thing that we noticed when we, we just fixed it but we noticed this bracket was super tight like no shims and super tight here and we checked it and it looks like somehow some way one of these actually moved a little bit and so we replaced it and now we got the single shim and we got a, a nice space right there um so even though we have a pretty high qc department uh, one of these got passed so uh, we're going to tighten screws up on that and verify everything is good uh, so none of our clients have the same issue um but we got it we got both of them on and resolved on to the next step If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the Air Cooled YouTube channel and turn on the bell notifications so you never miss a thing.